All right, guys, so today we're back on mobile gaming. And I guess if you guys play mobile games, if you like some casino games, you probably know of the huge and billionaire casinos. But you know the worst thing about these games is you're gonna have to sink a lot of money. And I'm talking about real money to actually get anywhere. But in here today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get to level 600 with around four to 500 billion chips on the bank. I am your host, Rusian, and this is Mobile Gaming Review. But now, before we start, don't forget to hit that notification button, that subscribe button, the bell button, and all those button buttons, because that helps a lot the channel for me to be able to create more content like that. All right, guys, so first of all, there are a couple of slot games, games by the same company. The two games we actually gonna be concentrating today are Huge Casino and Billionaire Casino. Basically because they're the two best ones to actually give you anything and that I'm also familiar with. So my advice is you guys can install both games and that's basically because you will need a couple of tries before you can actually get anywhere with the game. What means there are chances you may want to actually delete the game if you did not reach a certain level. Now, first of all, do not connect Facebook. 600,000 chips is pretty much nothing. And second of all, if you guys actually decide to delete the game and you connected with Facebook, guess what? You're gonna be stuck on that level. All right, so, you got to this point and what you have to do in the beginning, and that's really important because until level 40, you actually have no way to actually lose all your chips. So what you want to do, and that's because the game changes what slots actually give the best prices every now and then. So you may want to use the time you have until level 40 to actually find which one's the best slot for you. And basically what you're gonna be doing is just let it roll. Try to use max bet every single time you can. And that's basically so you can level faster. What will really help you when you get that two times XP. As you guys can see the slot that I actually chose to start, it's really not give me anything. What, to be honest, does not really matter in the beginning, but this one, for example, is one of the fastest slots to actual level. And that's pretty much why I'm picking this one. And just like I was telling you guys, because the game sees that I'm about to completely lose all my chips before I actually get to the next level, it gives me a surprise mini game. And to be honest, it doesn't matter which treasure chest you actually pick, because it will only give you the amount you need to reach the next level. And another reason why you guys probably want to be always running on max bet is because of huge charms. So every season, uh, every about two to three months, you have a chance to get those charms where basically sets that you need to complete and they give you a lot of chips when completed. Now, also remember, the amount of chips is related to your level. And that said, unless you got to the point that you run out of chips, it's best for you not to open those packets until you don't have any other option. The other things you guys need to do right off the beginning is to pick a club. Now, the reason why you guys gonna pick a club is you get a lot of free chips based on your club achievements. And to be honest, there's a lot of good clubs in there. The best thing for you guys to do is go on advanced search and choose clubs that have at least 40 members all the way up to 95. The reason why I'm telling you guys not to put 100 is because that means the club could, could be completely filled. Always skip the minimum fame to join is zero. The minimum club level, the best thing I've ever seen is to put 20. What it means, you're gonna be getting the gold clubs and above, and also choose club type as anyone can join, and then just join the club. Trust me, if you don't wanna have any interaction with the other members, that's fine, but you will be getting a lot of free chips out of it. 
Now, the best thing for you guys to do after you get to a certain level is try different slots. Basically because, like I mentioned before, the game always changes the slots that actually give the best prices and more often. Therefore, before you get to the point where you maybe run out of chips, you definitely want to know which of the slots is actually pay more often. Also remember, a lot of those slots, they don't pay that often, but when they pay, they pay real big. So you may want to analyze that. Also because a lot of the slots that actually pay often, they really don't pay even enough for your bet. So it really doesn't matter if they pay all the time, you're not going to get your money back. Now, this being said, between level 40 and 50, you really need to pick some of the slots that actually will be giving you stuff often with a chance to get a big payout. And that's because you may not actually get enough free chips to actually get you to the following level. Now, those free chests, they do not end at level 50. They end around level 70. The only thing is they will not be coming as often. Now, one other thing that you guys need to pay attention is the lottery tickets. Um, I would keep those in reserve in case you guys actually completely run out of credits and do not want to wait for a club to actually finish some of those tasks and actually give you free credits. And the reason I'd say that's because just like charms, the higher level you are, the more chips you're actually gonna be getting from the lottery. By the time I actually used my lottery tickets, I had over 700 gold tickets. So just so you guys have an idea, you can probably hold on to them for as long as you can and try to use it somewhere around 700, 800 level or even above. Most because at this point, your club is probably not going to be getting you enough credits to actually level. And yeah, guys, uh, just to review, at this point right now, as I'm finishing the video, my account's actually at level 788, and I had to finally use my tickets, and I'm around uh, over 100 billion. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, I haven't spent a single buck in the game. I will tell you guys, I actually enjoy playing this game, but if you actually don't pay attention, you can sink a lot of money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and again, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, hit that notifications bell, leave me a comment if you guys have ideas of any games you want me to review. I hope you guys have a great week, and as always, I'll see you in the game.